from before? Okay. Great. Okay, so now the presentation on 6.4. Uh, Mr. Mayor, we don't have a oh, okay. presentation. We're here to uh, answer questions. Answer questions only? Okay. Uh, Councillor Nickel, you had selected this. I'm disappointed you don't have a presentation on my on 97th Street. Um, well, I will preface my statements with that when we were in committee, that uh, council, former Councillor Sowie and myself asked for uh, 91st Street, yet five out of the six recommendations uh, we keep keep the bike uh, the bike lane on 97th Street. So you know, going through the uh, the rationale here, uh, the first question I want to have to a I want to ask is, uh, was that message not made clear to uh, both uh, to you? Because the, we were all on committee, and I've asked several councillors here, uh, up and down the hallway, said, was that not our understanding? So, Councillor Nickel, the, the motion reads, uh, replace the uh, 97th Street bike lane um, and replace it with cycling infrastructure along 91 or another appropriate alternative. We looked at, uh, we looked at 91, we looked at 97. Uh, we looked at 97 in terms of how could we make it work to, for all modes of travel and, and the businesses. We also looked at 99. 99th Street we discounted, um, given the, the nature of the, of, the, of the street and the volume. Uh, but we did uh, suggest to you that the 97th Street alternative by uh, constructing a shared use path uh, accomplishes a number of things. It returns the roadway to the pre-bike lane condition. Um, it provides a separated, uh, separated uh, shared use path for pedestrian and cycle use. Uh, it responds to the public's desire to have off-street cycling versus on-street cycling, and it maintains a connected network. At a cost of 4.25 million. 4.25 million. That is correct. The, the other, the other op option. Uh, to move off of 91st Street would be to construct a shared use path with connecting infrastructure for you know, a cost between 1.5 and 2.7 million. Uh, what that would get you is again off street cycling infrastructure. Uh, north south cyclists would be diverted or rerouted to 91st Street, uh, and you would still be paying that 1.5 to 2.7 depending on, on, uh, on how extensive you want to make some of these east west connections. Our, our, our advice is that um, if you want to continue to have a connected network, um, ensuring that north-south connection from uh, from the south of 97th uh, through up to 63rd and into the into the creek system, the trail system, that you might want to give very solid consideration to the option one, the shared use path on 97th. Well, have you considered in your budget estimates the possible uh, financial opportunity of reconstruction that is happening along with along 91st? because of the drainage works that are going on there and the possible cost savings that might impact that budget? Um, for 91st, uh, I think the majority of the route is already in place. There was a small section that was taken out because of the storm work, so that's going to be put back once that work is complete. And then the other portion is there's a, the bridge crossing is a bit substandard, and we'd probably tackle that during some time of during a major reconstruction. So, in terms of in terms of the actual, which is which is cheaper to do, 91st or 97th? Uh, 91st is is more cost effective. Okay. Uh, however, you that's my a... question there. That was a simple yes or no, and so um, it just makes. Uh, I'm ready to make a motion, Mr. Mayor, because we've been through this in committee. I don't want to go on forever uh, about this because. Both council, former Councilman Suri and I, we've had this discussion. So if there are any other questions, let's have them. And I'm prepared to make a motion uh, that will uh, uh, call for item two, uh, where we remove the, uh, the uh, bike lane on 97th route, and that in 2016 a capital profile be developed for the 91st Street option. Second. Okay, so if we can just get the wording clear for the councillors who uh, are on the phone. Have you got something, Madam Clerk? We're just working on it and we're going to get it put, MJ's going to put it into the system. Can I just check, oh. Councillor Nickel, that uh, the direction would be that administration remove the bike lane on 97th Street and that in 2016 a capital profile be created for, sorry. For the uh, be uh, for n option six. Option six, okay. Two or six. 
Okay. And, Councillor, what's the source of funds for the $650,000 cost of the removal? Oh. Which is? I don't know. Would you guys give me a recommendation where I could dig up that money? Um, so, Councillor Nickel, we have uh, done other similar works around 95th Avenue from the arterial reconstruction budget. Um, that would be consistent with other, other decisions that Council's made. Okay. They're identified. I, I didn't get that funding. Okay. I got to so remember, you're from quite a, right, Mr. Mayor. I got to keep remembering, I got to tack on that money. So if you can just amend the uh, or update the motion to reflect the source of funds for the expenditure of, for option two, because doing option six costs nothing to prepare the profile, um, but uh, to proceed with option two, Can I just read what we got from the general manager? That administration move and fill in on the on-street bike lane markings on 95th Avenue from 149th Street to 189th Street. That's and not 95th, 96th. That's the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> the source of funds. Just say it for the councillors online, and the funding source will be from the capital profile arterial road program arterial renewal composite number 15-66-1020. Okay, and I think it might be helpful to split this into two pieces. One is to move ahead with two at the cost of 650 with the funding from that funding source, and two is uh, capital profile be created for option six with source of funds from. Okay, I think we can, I think we know what the shape of the motion is now. We can start on questions. We'll restate the motion um, in its final form after uh, questions and any other changes. Uh, so questions, Councillor Knack? And Councillor Henderson, I have you down for uh, questions Thanks. Thanks. In, in a moment. Councillor Knack, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so question just around the the routes and the debate between the various routes. So uh, because I'm not on that side of town, I don't always know, but it, it is, is it typically the goal for, do we see a lot of the riders enter down into the ravine? I mean, because what I'm wondering about, it seems like 91st Street gives the most direct connection into the ravine network and it goes through there. But I'm curious how many riders go beyond, uh, I guess that would be 66th Avenue and just stay on 97th Street all the way into the down, you know, going further, uh, further north. Do we have any of that information? It's just, even just, general idea where we see primarily the, the majority of the riders go? Um, majority of the riders are on, um, I don't have data for 91st, but with the 97th Street, it, what it's nice about is it's direct con uh, connection into the downtown that feeds from the north, um, where we don't have to actually go into the ravine, which is actually a challenging for some people. And while 97th creates that direct route, so 97th, the rest of the way is has a has a dedicated lane the entire way into the downtown. Or where does it end? The, right the portion of 97th Street through the Hazel Dean has been created as a bike boulevard, okay. so uh, the portion there has already been built. Okay. Um, so the general question is uh, with regards to timeline. If we if you're going to see remove, let's pretend for a moment if we weren't going to remove when we do. Uh, snow maintenance uh, during the winter, do we create windrows on those two lanes? Uh, or yeah. are, they, are they removed off 97th Street? Uh, you know, we, we would likely create rent windrows and remove as required. Okay, so, so we treat it as a, is it treated in that particular stretch as a collector or arterial or? You know, I, I believe that would be a collector classification. Okay, so it wouldn't, so yeah, the collector, therefore windrow would only be removed as, as required, not under the new policy of the minimum lane width. Um, Okay, that's, 
information helps right now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next up is Councillor Henderson. Yeah, just, I mean, and these are some questions I asked back at the time. Um, but um, I, I guess, I guess my major, my major question is, this is, a, um, we're basically, by doing this, we'd eventually be take, pulling something out of a major corridor, which is basically the Calgary Trail corridor at 99th Street, which we can't, neither of which we can use, um, and creating a kind of 15 block gap between that and 106, between 91st and 96th Street, correct? Uh, Councillor, no, that, that's uh, correct. I'm not sure the block length, but that's correct. Well, 106, 101 to 106 is 15, I think, by my count. Yep, from that, um, yeah, from that way, yes. Math is still working for me. So, um, and, and as well, this, I and mean, this is part of the groups that I've heard from that use it, this also is what connects down from the south of the city to the velodrome, is it not? You, I believe it does. Um, and as I think, as, as Councillor Nack already asked, we've, we've actually just finished uh, doing work through Hazel Dean with some closures in there to actually make this the route that connects all the way down to the 83rd piece that we're going to be building and all the stuff um, that's, the, that's, that's in there, correct? Correct. Part of the Hazel Dean neighborhood renewal included some bike facilities and, and accommodations for bikes. So part of the reason you weren't recommending 91st is because it actually, although it, it might be slightly easier to do, it doesn't connect as usefully for a whole bunch of different users and leaves a gap, correct? Correct. The uh, 97th Street North-South linkage does uh, you know, enhance that connected network of cycle routes. Um, and my memory is from, you know, which is why, you know, because my memory was a little bit different from Council Nichols, that we did indeed ask you to go back and look at ways in which we could mitigate um, what actually was just a few blocks of parking concern is my memory. It wasn't the whole length. There were, there were some specific businesses that were having challenges with this. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, what worries me a little bit about this motion is we're taking a great big hammer to deal with a, a great mallet to deal with what actually is a fairly localized concern. Um, and, I, and I guess that's why the motion was worded the way it was, to see if there was another way to deal with that localized concern. So. Is there, is there something in between here that could deal with those businesses that uh, I think my memory what my memory was it was largely a, a, a restaurant that wanted that, that couldn't get vehicles into its parking lot because they wanted to park on the street are there other ways to mitigate that that might be less draconian Councillor Henderson we looked at a number of options uh, the option we're recommending was a shared use path that would allow for the parking to be reinstated on 97th Street, but we also looked at options along the full length. But we also looked at an option that would reinstate parking on one side of 97th Street while still maintaining the on-street bike lanes. And we could do that? Yes, we can do that. It will not add back as much parking as was previously in place, and it does not give cyclists the segregated facility that they would prefer. But well, it, it, it's hard to remember, but my, my memory was it wasn't the volume of parking. It was the kind of parking that was available, and the fact that for people with big, with big trailers and stuff, it was hard to get into the parking that was there. So it may not be a volume problem. It may, it may be a quality problem, which could be dealt with by putting one side of the street parking back on, could it not? Pardon me, that could certainly add some parking for the larger vehicles. We noted that there is a parking lot for smaller vehicles and yeah. that it's not over capacity whenever we've gone out and surveyed it. Yeah, no, I, I don't remember this being a volume of parking issue. I remember it being about, about specific kinds of vehicles that couldn't easily get in. Um, and so, I mean, I, I, I guess I would be interested in knowing and going back whether or not getting one side of the street parking might answer that problem in a far less, one less expensive way. I mean, it'd be great to see a multi-use trail down there, um, uh, but I'm, I'm skeptical that we're going to put that funding in um, uh, or that that would be our next priority. So I'm it putting, it seems to me putting the one side, is, would it be possible to do the one side of the street parking just for that section where the issue was raised with us? Because I'm not sure it's the entire length. 
I, I think it would be possible to do it just for a short uh, length. However, I think if we were trying to put in a good facility for cyclists, we'd like it to be consistent along the route. And so if we can Fair reinstate enough. parking in one area, we might as well do it along the route. Okay. Well, I, I'd be far more attracted to that kind of option than what seems to me is a much more um, major option here to deal with, with a specific problem that probably dealt with more easily and allow everybody to use the road. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Ushery. Thank you. So what, just help me understand here, so is the current, um, is the proposal for number six that Councillor Nichol Return wants, um, is that going to be segregated, segregated then, uh, bike lanes from traffic, or is that, are there, is anything in there going to be marked, like, uh, marked on the roads? So option six is a shared use path facility along 91st Street, as well as connecting shared use paths over to the 97th Street area along the avenues. Okay, so not, not painted lines on the road? Not painted lines on the road. Okay. Um, which is what we have now, correct? Currently we have painted lines on the road just on 97th Street. 97th, okay. And, uh, okay, no, that's all, that's my only question, thanks. Councilor Walters. Thank you. So I'm just confused about option six. So that that's primarily already there. Like it's it's just about complete the 91st Street, the the multi the multi-use trail. That's correct. Except for the sort of 11 block stretch from 23rd to 34th, and there was no plans ever to complete that, regardless of concerns about 97th. <laughs> There, there are plans to complete that at some future time when the drainage works is complete. Right. So there would be a profile coming, or that would be as you know part of that budget. So I'm wondering why we need to create a profile for something that you're already going to complete. There's the east-west connections onto 97th Street. So those are additional. Yes. That's a, but this is that's not about the replacement of the north-south route that would be lost if the 97th Street one was removed. It's to help with the connectivity back into the 97th Street and that industrial lands. But if there's, okay. Um, and then the, to advance, at least to have considered, because, you know, the, the clear message, at least what, you know, I've, I've been no great defender of the painted lanes, but I've also been pretty focused on if we remove those, we need a, a alternate s separated trail in and around the same spot, so the profile the profile could be advanced if someone moved that, that we would have the 97th Street one that you're recommending as part of the consideration too. Yeah, Councilor Walters, that, that's an option for Council to consider. That that was the, the basis for a recommendation of, for that consideration is that it, it, can, it maintains the connected network. It's, it's in a similar location to where there are uh, bike lanes now, um, and it is, uh, it is a separate, it would be a separated off-street facility. Okay. Because I think we know that if we want separated infrastructure, it's going to cost more than the than the milled in, the thermoplast or the paint in conjunction with arterial rehab, right? Yes. Okay. Councilor McKean. Thank you. So the difference between the 91st Street in, uh, option and option six and option one, is it $1.8 million? So 2.7 to 4.5, is that right? Am I doing my math correctly? That sounds correct to me. Because it's 2.7. If, we, if we were going to use the 91st Street, it would be 2.7. That's correct. And the advantage to 97th Street is it connects an existing network, makes a little more logistical sense for a bike network. It does connect our network a bit better, yes. Um, well, I'll tell you, uh, I will support because I think we're going to be, to be consistent, I will re uh, support the first part of the motion, um, but I will not support the second part of the motion. I don't think we're, and, and let me ask this, have we done uh, any consultation on, on this latest report? No. So I, I think that's my other concern. I think in both these other cases where we removed lanes, um, 
there was quite a bit of consultation. Here I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm also concerned that we might be throwing good money after bad here and that Councillor Nichols' concerns about 97th Street I, I totally understand and we've been uh, consistent in, in, in removing some lanes in other areas but it would seem to me that the best option would be to, to we wouldn't be affect we wouldn't be affecting traffic with the shared use uh, facility on 97th. That, that's correct. It would be separated off the roadway. So, uh, Councillor Nichols' concerns would be addressed, and we would spend 1.8 million dollars more for a direct connection along there. So that's that would be my preference. Thank you, Councillor Essinger. Actually, sorry, just before you go ahead, Bev, um, do we want to extend to complete this or because after Bev, it'll, it'll be uh, orders otherwise, so. Okay, some folks have a meeting, so we'll, we'll, we'll go to Bev and then uh, depending how long there is, it, we'll come back to Councillor Walters because the board's almost clear. So, Councillor Essinger, I'll start your time again. Go ahead. Thank you. My question is, um, have we, and I similar to Councillor McKean, have we talked to the community along 97 about your proposed changes? No, we haven't. Because I, I think loud and clear we heard um, that 91st was pre preferred, and if we're going to even consider changing it, uh, I think we should have talked to them. Um, were there plans to talk to them before you went ahead with this, or just we're going to change it? Uh, Councillor Estlinger, um, one of the messages from the 97th Street businesses was that the, the existing bike lanes uh, uh, were not working for the, the neighborhood or the community and the environment, uh, and uh, option one would actually create a wider shared use path to, to take, take bicycles off, reduce that, uh, reduce that conflict. Okay. Well, for me, I, I would support uh, both of these motions because I think that's what we heard. And what we're doing is preparing a profile. We'll have another chance to debate that. So uh, that's my understanding. That's all. Okay. Councillor Walters, do you have more questions or on debate now? An amendment? Okay, go ahead. So I would like to add that they bring back a profile for option one as well and then some comparative of pros and cons of those two options so that when we debate option six, we can also debate option one. Second that. Okay. Is the wording of that clear? <coughs> so the report that would come back with the new capital profile for option six would also include the profile for option one and a pro and con of the, or compare and contrast to the, the, the two. Okay? On, on that amendment, Councillor Nichol? Yeah, just to speak to it, um, I have no problem with the cost comparator. I think that's a fair and reasonable ask. And uh, but I do think you'll find from safety from the community from a whole host of reasons what I'll, I can speak towards uh, that the existing route does not anyways I'm not against it I'm for comparators for benchmarking purposes it makes good sense to me okay so cost and benefit we'll see that okay on, on councillor, as, as long as that six hundred thousand stays in there, yeah, this doesn't affect that yeah. part of the motion. This exactly. is on the point, the, the second point. So, on councillor uh, Walter's amendment to add the option one for consideration in the report back. Wait, wait. Yep. It's yes. Option, it says option two in the. So it's the amendment. Up at the top? The amendment. Oh, sorry. Above, it's the part above the start is actually oh, the amendment. Like, and it refers to the second point in the motion, which is about the capital profile. So so uh, we've heard from the two councillors by phone. Everybody else, please vote. Display the vote. And that's carried. Is there anyone else wishing to speak? Because we can vote before lunch here if not. Okay. I'll have, well, I'd like to vote the uh, motion to be split. So uh, we'll vote on them separately. Uh, so on the first part, which is the uh, removal with the source of funding from the road repaving budget, please vote. No. Yes. Okay. Everybody voted. Display the vote. And that's carried. Sorry, that's backwards. Councillor Councilor Henderson was the no. I know their voices are similar, but... I kid. Okay, and then on the second uh, on the second point, 
So bringing forward of the profiles, please vote. Yes. Councilors? Yes. Okay, and display the vote. And that's carried. Okay, uh, so that has at least been dealt with. When we come back, we'll be on the uh, vehicle for hire bylaws, and then we'll chip away at the rest of the agenda in order. Thank you. Now departing. Bev. Now departing. Ben.